Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Higgins. I'm the Joint Replacement and Revision Specialist with Tidewater Orthopedics. I'm going to speak to you today about hip replacement surgery and the Jiffy Hip or Direct Anterior Hip Replacement. Um, but before I do that, first I'm going to talk a little bit about hip arthritis. Um, hip arthritis, as shown in this model, is when the cartilage wears out in your hip. And uh, that's what's depicted in this model here. So you can see the cartilage wears away and the hip joint becomes very painful. Patients have a lot of pain in their groin and in the front of the thigh. It makes things like putting your socks on or tying your shoes very painful and difficult to do. So when you have an arthritic hip, the treatment for this is a hip replacement. And what's done in that surgery in a nutshell is the arthritic ball is removed and the arthritic socket, all the cartilage in there is, is removed as well. And a hip replacement goes in. This is what the basic hip replacement implants are made of. There's a cup with a liner. This is made of titanium. And a titanium stem with a ceramic or cobalt chrome head. And that's what the hip replacement consists of. So this cup goes into the socket and that replaces all the arthritis in the socket of the hip. And the stem goes on the top of your femur with the ball on top of it. And that's the artificial hip replacement. That's the artificial joint. So that's what hip replacement is composed of. And this surgery has been done for a very long time. It's an excellent surgery. Patients do very, very well with hip replacement. But there's different ways of doing it. I do the direct anterior jiffy hip, and this is a way of replacing the hip that's muscle sparing. I can do the surgery without cutting any muscles. And that's in comparison to a traditional hip replacement uh, through a posterior approach where muscles are split and cut. So let me show you what the difference is between those two. So this is a model of a patient's uh, femur and hip. It has all the muscles around it. So if you have an arthritic hip and you're going to have a hip replacement, uh, what you don't want to have done is have a posterior approach where muscles are split and cut. Let me show you what that would entail. So this would be a patient lying on their side for traditional posterior approach hip replacement. The first thing that's going to be done is the gluteus maximus, the big muscle over your buttock, is split. So that muscle is split. Below that, there's the short external rotators. So this is uh, four muscles that are going to be removed off the back of the femur. These are cut off the back of the femur. And below that, now, now your surgeon has access to the hip joint. And that capsule, that's, this shirt represents the capsule of the hip. This is cut. And the surgery is done. Those implants I showed at the beginning of the video are, are put in. What that leaves you with is a lot of pain and a lot of weakness because there's been a lot of damage to muscles. Now at the end, these muscles are, are sewn back in place. When, you're, when you wake up, you're going to have more pain and more weakness. The way I do the procedure is the direct anterior approach, and this is a muscle sparing approach. So with this procedure, the patient's lying flat on their back, and I'm going in from the front of the thigh. It's an incision that's about uh, three and a half or four inches long, which is nice because it's a nice small incision, but what's more important is that below the skin, the muscles are preserved. So with this surgery, I work between the tensor fasciae and the sartorius muscle. Those two muscles are split open, and right below there is the hip joint, the hip capsule. Uh, so I have excellent exposure to the hip. I'm able to do the hip replacement without cutting any muscles. I use a special table that gives me uh, very good exposure to the femur to get the stem in. And so when I'm done, uh, I don't have to sew any muscles back together because they haven't been cut, they've been left alone. The skin is, the uh, soft tissues below the skin and the skin are closed. And when you wake up, there's less pain and less weakness. So the direct anterior approach does everything you'd want a hip replacement to do. You're going to have your implants in correctly, uh, have a well-functioning hip and a quicker recovery. I'm Dr. Michael Higgins, joint replacement and revision specialist with Tidewater Ortho. If you have any questions or would like a consultation, please don't hesitate to contact our office.